Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy XIV. This is the Valentine's event for 2022, the first event of the year, technically. Now, you could argue that the Halloween event was the first event of the year, but that's still considered the event from last year, so this is where it all starts off anew. And we're to kick, and we're kick things off with Valentine's. So... Let's see what this event has in store for us. No love lost. What kind of fucking achievement name is that? Honorific. Honorific ability. What? What kind of name is that? It's like someone mashed the keyboard and didn't even bother typing. The fuck? Is that really, that's a really achievement name, huh? The tis a season of arbor and affection and romance is thick upon the air. I, Lizette of House of Val Valent Valentine, entreat you, dearest one, to breathe deep and take love's richness, its cloying rosy radiance into your bosom. Alas, every rose has its thorns, and even in this fairest of seasons is not without its trials. Indeed, tri trouble's afoot, and it threatens the hearts of all in this realm. A fellow of ours, a moogle well versed in the myriad matters of the heart, has found himself in quite the quagmire. The sweet thing was which I, we speak goes by the name of Cup 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 Cup, and he is an, as an emissary of pen passions and all but such belay do, belay do, oh god, Valentine Val, Valentine's Day is a joyous occasion, but not always so for those who acquit themselves as post moogles of the realm. Cup 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 has his paw, poor paws to full delivering the heartwarming misses far and wide, hither and thither. Though you would never admit it, I fear he's at wit's end. But you, benevolent adventure that you that benevolent adventure that you are, can provide precisely what are er, er, one of these words Rusut Her Harold requires oh so desperately. Pray let Cup 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 your talents to retrieve him from the edge of whereupon his wits now teeter so precariously. Oh God! Fine. A working happy adventure is a happy adventure, I guess. Marvelous! You're a hero through and through. Cup, cup, cup will also be so relieved. I shall fetch him at once. God, Lord, what am I getting myself into here? You mean his palms hard shaped? What? Ah, why well, yours is a face I know well. No introduction necessary, friends. For so renowned are you with that I feel as if I'd known you my whole life. My post mill compatriots speak of your, your daring do is almost nightly, Koopo. Koopo! How they will bristle into puffballs when I tell them we are acquainted. Now then, I hear from Astra that you would help me in my hour of need, for which I am most grateful. However, it is not the work itself that vexes me, but a rather colleague of mine, a clueless courier, n n inducted into our vocation. Every val Valentine, val Valentine, Valentine's Day, uh, we emissaries are overtaxed, and this season was no proven no exception. I had hoped to nip this issue in the bud by petitioning the deputy post Mo deputy post Moogle for a helping par to. He obliged, but sent someone altogether worthless, an undisciplined Tyro. <laughs> Make things matters worse, that daft thing is painfully ignorant of the ways of the heart. You should hear the way she speaks to the client to the clientele. One ugly gift. Love must be blind and such nonsense. Up to her own devices, I fear she'll ruin Valentine's Day. Give the girl the axe, you cry. The impulse is very much with me, I assure you, but I cannot rightly turn away the very assistance of which I begged. I could come, ac come, ac come across as the most wretched ingrate to ever have wings. Yet I haven't the time to train her, let alone the patience. <laughs> Fret not, our harried, har our harried herald. You are right to have sought our help, for I have come upon the cleverest of solutions to your predicament. We shall enlist the help of our dowdy adventurer and house Valentine, Val, Valentine's very own Astrid to accompany said Kala's courier. Ugh. He's like, I didn't sign up for this. You cannot be surprised at my suggestion. It is a more, not most natural fit. Sessa, so skilled in so many subjects, would teach your assistant and del the delicate art of the post, while Astrid shall instruct the Moogle in the ways of arbor and adoration. There, a splendid plan if I do say so myself. Poor kid. You need dragged into this. Are you sure? Both are sure up to the task? It isn't too right to bother. I mean, the kid doesn't have much of a choice. And I offered, so... What seasonal relief indeed! I shall bring her to you at once, for there is not a moment to lose. 
God. If I remember correctly, there isn't really much to the Valentine's event compared to the Halloween event. But I could be very wrong. May I introduce you to my fledging post middle charge? Puck, Puck T. P Pico and her loyal chocobo. Uh, oh dear, this is rather awkward. Confess your friend's name has slipped my mind. Salutations, one and all. As for my chocobo, his name can't have slipped your mind man, because he, he hasn't won. I refer to him as my partner, dear, or when I'm part feeling particularly silly, bird. Huh. Great. Very clever. Very, uh, very creative. Bird. Many, many an acquaintance of mine has attempted to provide him a name or two, but none of them ever stick. Or should I say, I always forget them. In any case, you can call him whatever you like. It makes a difference, at least, at least of all to him. Alright. Yes, well, be that as it may, I have tasked Pukti Puk, Pico with three deliveries, all of which I would ask you to join her on. They, these two are going to accompany me. Very well, who am I to turn away? Who, whoever you are. Our first stop is the Carpenter's Guild. Bird and I shall await you there. Fucking bird, really? <laughs> Can't get more creative than bird. Lord. The creativity really shows here. I'm going. Uh, we are going to the Carpenter's Guild, so... What are we doing? Oh, that's right. Is that the, is that the plaza? Duh! It's been so long... It's been so long since I've actually been in there and I didn't remember. Oh, the receiving is out on an errand or some such. A pity. As for the parcel, well, since no one's available to take it, I say we just leave it in, 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 in any old place. There are all the assignments to be getting on with, after all. I say, now hold there a moment. I am no post moogle, granted, but merely abandoning a package like this before a door seems a touch disrespectful, does it not? What, what have we here as a gift? And I am a craft with love and care. It deserves to be treated as such. Who is this from, exactly? A young woman, if memory serves. Daughter of the man meant to receive this. Oh yes, and there was something about her training at the Culinarian's Guild, I think. My memory's hazy. Uh, we wouldn't want anyone to steal the parcel. That wouldn't be good. Hmm, make an interesting point. The man is out on Aaron, yes, and since he is with the Carpenter's Guild, it stands the reason he is out collecting lumber, and from the Botanist Guild, like is not. We shall start a search there for a Valentine. Valentine's Day gift must be delivered straight into the recipient's hands. Alright. Got old Semi there looking through the logs. It's kind of like the uh, Valentine's Day when you're in elementary school. You gotta give out Valentine's cards to your to the classmates. Kind of reminds me of that. <laughs> Tell you what, I hated doing that. Okay. Deliver for you, sir. You were at the guild when you came calling, so we took the liberty of tracking you down. All right, give it here then. Oh, what's all this? Valentine's Day chocolate. Now this is a surprise. My daughter's an apprentice in the Culinarian's Guild, you see. I heard she'd been selected to make the chocolates for the festivities this year, but I certainly didn't expect to receive any myself. And how wonderful you, you, that you did. It is not every day one's daughter is accorded the honor of crafting such a beloved confectionery. She must be the quite the Culinarian. That she is! My pride and joy, that girl. What a pleasant surprise this package was. This package was. Certainly being my day. I can't thank you enough for bringing it all the way out to me, like you have. I'll never forget this kindness. 
goodness, seems like the bit of an overreaction to have be handed some food, does it not? Doesn't it? He appreciated that we delivered with care. That's what savvy postman was called customer satisfaction. Agree. There's a lesson we learned here, Pukti. Joy is not meant to be one kept to oneself. It is a feeling that yearns to be shared, and we believed a part, and we played a part in bringing. Uh, hap uh, bringing him happiness, so there's a little wonder that he wished to share his fel felicity with us. So, joy is meant to be shared. Hmm, well, when you put it that way, I suppose that's a foreign concept. When something makes me smile or laugh, I do tend to talk my companion's ear off about it, and I'm often made the happier for it. Okay. But enough about that, time is wasting. Let's be off to our next, uh, best, next delivery. The recipient waits, us, waits at the whistling miller by the looks of it. Okay, off we go. Then you go uh, that way. Oh boy. I remember one year, uh, the Valentine's event had a uh, special instance, kind of like the Halloween events. But I don't know if I can have it this time around. Pardon me, but I have a delivery for you, ma'am. For me? Oh, it's one of my dearest companions. And look what they sent. Pink seashells. Aren't they not extraordinary? Look at their vibra vibrancy. Uh, on a card. Happy Valentine's Day. How delightful. Shells? Empty ones? You can't even eat those. At least the other, at least the other fellow received chocolate. Pukti! That is ab not abominably rude. Oh, fuck. I skipped it. It was so rude that I skipped it. There's nothing to forgive, I assure you. I could hardly be upset about receiving a gift like this, and from a loved one I've not seen in quite some time. My friend, you see, is an adventurer in, his own, in their own right. They enjoy being cryptic, though, and never outright tell me when they have been, where they have been. Rather, they make me guess by dropping hints in the form of curiosities such as these. What a blessing part! What, what a blessing this parcel is, and I was only just wondering how they're faring, and where their journeys had brought them. Thank you, Miss Miss Post Moogle. Uh, you have brightened my day. It's hard to tell between it's hard to tell who with which Moogle is a male or female. Love is a, is a mystery indeed, and a funny one at that. You have no idea. It is my pleasure to tell you, Pakti, that love is a main is a many splendored thing, and we have each have our own unique way of expressing it. The friendship between the that girl and her adventure companion is a perfect example. That gift, which appeared more f more frippery to you, was a treasure in her to her to, to her eyes. It is important to venture as a chicken with her loved ones. That's, that's certainly true. Perhaps her loved ones in Lanosia. Perhaps her friends in the Ruby Sea. I mean, those are kind of broad statements. But it's important to check with, for adventures to check in with her loved ones. It is often said that no, new, no news is good news, but I very much doubt that would be the case for those in your line of work. So you mean to say... This was her friend's way of telling that young woman that all's well. Their way of their, their way of assuaging any worries she might be harboring about their safety. Hmm, how fascinating. To be sure, were I to be separated from my bird here by expansive seas or vast mo mountain ranges, I'd like to hear from him from time to time. Perhaps not every day. That would be irksome. <laughs> Poor bird. But to know that he's in good health would not altogether do, be would not be altogether disagreeable, I suppose. Anywho, you no know, sense in losing ourselves in thought, and not when a parcel is burning a hole in my satchel. Our next delivery takes us to Apkalu Falls. Let's away! I believe there is like a separate quest line for post moogles, where you can get a, where you can get the post moogle hat. But I have absolutely, I did it on my other character, but I have absolutely no idea where to start it anymore. Assuming that, well, I, I assume the quest is still in the game. I just don't know where. It's a fun, it's an interesting little side quest, though. Greetings, sir. I have, I have a hat for you here. A parcel from one of Uldah's pre preeminent art dealers. At last, her earrings have arrived. Goodness gracious, how stunning they are. This craftsmanship, this meticulous attention to detail. Couldn't have hoped for a better present for my wife. This, she'll be over, over the moon to receive them. Her birthday's coming up, you see, and I wanted to ensure her special day is just that. I've given, I've even given Cup Cup Cup's palm a vigorous pat. 
I hear tell I heard tell te I heard tell that one touch is enough to bring a couple happiness for all their years to come. Let's hope so. You did well to bring me these all the way out here. Though scratch on them, you know. I'd begin to worry that by the time I received them, the poor things would be nothing but more than scuffed, dented rocks. You've brought you've got a bright future ahead of you in the postal service, my friend. Thank you. Now this is odd. I, there's a flutter in my chest, a tickle in my stomach. Have I taken ill? Or do compliments and words of gratitude always elicit this sort of response? Trust me when I say that you're not ill, Pukti. That flutter you feel, those tickler sensations you described, that is fondness. A form of love, indeed, and it was not. It was made manifest by that man's appreciation for what you provided. Oh, so this love nonsense. Why, it isn't nonsense at all, is it? It's quite wonderful, actually. I'll act into it. That feeling when my burr I sell down for an afternoon nap in the twelves wood. When I tuck myself under his wing, we are warm and we, we are warm by the sunlight breaking through the trees. Perhaps you haven't mastered the concept entirely, but I do believe we're making strides in the right direction. You certainly seem more attuned to the ways of the heart than we first made your acquaintance at any rate. Now all, we, all three parcels have reached the right hands, so let's return to Mikado's amphitheater. I don't doubt Cup 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 was anxious to know how Pukti fared. Alright. No love lost. And thankfully, the amphitheater is a hop, skip, and a jump around. There you are, my, our agents of affection, our heralds of the heart. Return at last, but not before time. Tell me, how went your deliveries? Splendid, each and every one. Uh, the recipients were all thrilled to receive their parcels, and I'm pleased to say that Pukti and Pika learned something along the way. Yes, I do believe I did. Love is... Well, it's quite a bit more complicated than I first imagined it to be. There are hidden pat depths to it, ones I didn't see before. I may not be an expert on, on the subject yet. Who is, honestly? <laughs> But I'd like to think my ignorance is not quite as dire as it once was. You're making progress, certainly. I'm glad of it. But just as long as you did not offend anyone, I could not ask for more. Anyhow, anywho, I'm de indebted to you, indebted to you a stride, Cecilia. You have spared at least three citizens of the realm from potential cruelty. Potential cruelty, however unintended it may have been. No, I'm being too harsh. Pukti, you have shown a true, considered effort to understand the lab labyrinthian complexities of the heart. And as a result, Roar, I am inclined to set you to another task. For in truth, your work is not yet finished. Much more there needs, is there to be done, is there to be done on this, this Valentine, Valentine's Day. When you have the time, speak with me again, and I shall tell you more about it. I figured that was not all of it. There you are, not a moment too soon, and you're unwavering devotion to the Oasis of Arbor, ardor and affection. Love and romance, courtship and intimacy is both commendable and deeply appreciated. So, the task of which I spoke, it involves a woman by the name of Alois, who, would just, who had just posted a parcel with no small amount of urgency. However, she then returned, begging us to call off its delivery. A highly unusual request, and in her eyes, twin pools of sorrow. She fled straight away ere I could even get my bearings, let alone ask what troubles her so. Will you help me seek her out? Sure. I still can't get over that stupid Chibit name. What kind of name is that? You're too kind. Now, as for this young woman, she is an elizabeth and a great beauty, and thus should not be easy to d overlook. That's a, I tell that says a whole lot, thanks. Last I saw her, she had just made a sharp left at the fork in the road, unless my eyes deceived me. <clears throat> to the left, you say? That way lies the Great Lim Gro Growery, if I'm not mistaken. I'll accompany you there, Cup Good Cup. Cecil, Pukti Pico, you two look near that on N Nofika's altar. Should you come upon her before we do, come find us at the growery. Alright. What, what, what is this achievement name? Honor... Honorific... Abilits... Abilitu... Dinat... 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 What? Dinat... Tat, I can't even say that word. I can't even... I can't even phrase it out. Honorific... That's obvious. Abilitu... Uh, Dinatab, Dinatabis? What? 
What the fuck? You can't see it because I have it blocked on the off because I have it blocked off, but you saw at the beginning, you'll see when the achievement pops up. The fucking name. It's absurd. Oops. Aloys! Who, me? Yes, I'm Aloys. Why do you ask? Cup 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 wants to see me, you say? But whatever for? He is beside himself with worry. He told you all you turned tail and darted off with look dreadfully stricken. Downright morose. Morose. You can understand his concerns, surely. I see. I owe him an apology for worrying him as I have. And an explanation for my frantic flight as well. Kupka stood at Mikado's amphitheater, correct? I'll go to him at once. That was easy. Actually, he... Never mind, she's already gone. I suppose I should go fetch him, shall, shall I? Meet us at the amphitheater, Cecil, and do hurry. We don't want her dashing off again. Lord. Alright. First, let me start by saying how grateful I am that you would think to come and check on me. The truth of the matter is I received an offer of marriage. I meant to accept, which is why I came to you initially, Kupka, to see that my reply would be delivered safely. However, as I was writing to tell him yes, I found myself hesitating more than I thought than I ought to have been. I began to wonder if I was making a terrible decision, not only for me, but for him as well. The man who stakes my hand is of his guardian nobility and goes by the name of as a mile. At the moment he is well, he is quite ill and is seeking treatment here in Gradania. Do not misunderstand me. I was overjoyed of his devotion. A life spent with him would be a wonderful thing, but I'm no noble. I'm the most common stock, no more special than a weed than a weed underfoot. I wasn't raised with the artist ar aristocratic manners a future wife of his requires. Who might have married nobility? I must destroy my previous missive and pen a new letter telling me I can't go with it. But that one I'll handle. But that one I'll handle. Liver. I won't have an emissary of love delivering such ill tidings. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I couldn't. Well, I can't relate, but I can understand where she's coming from. And the picture's on. Hang on, picture's off. Sorry about that. I think the picture's been on the whole time. Now, I don't pretend to be an expert in the ways of the heart, but isn't love the desire to be with someone forever and, on, forever and on? The desire for a trusted partner in this world, someone with whom you can share your joys and your woes? If you care for him, be with him. Wouldn't it upset you to do anything but? It certainly seems to have. I may not have experience with this, but I know that were, were my, my, my chokebo were to be separated, I wouldn't like it. Not one bit. I don't believe giving up is the solution. Ver verily. I myself am a Viscardian nobility and thus speak from a place of authority. Each of our houses has its own traditions. It is our titles that connect us, not our principles. Before making decisions, seek the counsel of your beloved and learn what, if, what, what his family values. I could not agree more. After all, it is doubts you harbor, not a lack of affection. You, if you believe his heart is yours entire, entire then trust, trust that he will listen to your troubles that you and he can solve them together. Why not send one more letter to explain what it is that vexes you? Yes, I see your point. It's unfair for me to hide my feelings like this. He's owed my honesty. But how does one write such a letter? I wouldn't know where to begin. Perhaps you should explain your apprehension about fulfilling your duties as a wife to a man of a great, of a great house. Make it clear that, should you decide to join his social milieu, you will require time to study, learn, and train before you are comfortable. A word of warning, though. To compromise the very to, com to compromise the very woman you are in order to bend into the rigors of the nobility may leave you jagged, or jaded, haggard, and altogether infuriated. Thus, I suggest you even first inquire as to whether his family is incapable of capable accepting you as you are. Why not simply write down all your worries? I don't fancy myself a poet or passions or what have you, but there's something to be said about getting everything out in the open. 
All these ideas have a great idea of merit, and each should be given due consideration. Sasa, what say you? What are these, which of these notions has struck a chord with you? Why would you ask me this? I am not an agent of love. Uh, ask him for to make it clear that you won't compromise who you are. Ask for help adapting to his lifestyle. Tell him exactly what concerns you. Speak from the heart. Thank you for your insight, everyone. I believe I know I know what I must do now. Then let us fetch your parchment, quill, and ink. A for fortunate that you have us, you know, for we emissaries are far never far from instruments of the post. Why, well, I shall even provide you with a Valentine's Day val Valentine's Day themed stationery. He's very eager. There, it's done. Now all that's left is for him to read it. Mardana is likely in the, in the, in the gentry, gentry's ward. I know he enjoys seeing the solitude on a bench not far from the gates. Who would there like as not? Then that's where we shall try first. We will be back with his response as soon as we are able. Why don't you just go to him? If he's in the same city, why don't you just go? Tally ho bird, love of work, love's work awaits. My god. This guy, this person's pumping himself out to deliver some love. Oh dear, I'm so fidgety, I can't wait. Sit still for the nerves. Oh, I can't take this any longer. If you just stand idly by, I will have my future decide without me. That does it. I'm going to Gentry's War in this instant. This instant. Alois, you can't. And she's gone. <laughs> Our duty as emissaries of love and affection demands we see that love lorn last through this trying time. I shall meet you at the gates of the gentry, Gentry's Ward. She's pumping herself up! Uh, okay. There's no easy way to get there, huh? No easy way to get there. Come up here. Got my buddy Ursland Ur Ursendel. Oh wait. I'm sorry I've run off on a game like that. I just can stand around, wait around, and twiddle my thumbs another moment more. Oh shit. We have for you a letter from Miss One, from, from one Miss Alois herself. The missive from my love. Thank you kindly, most post noodles. Perhaps it's not my place, but if I may. Alois thinks a great deal of you. We watched her as she wrote that letter that you now hold. We can see plain as day how much she cares for you. If there's love to be found in this world, it's there in every word she has put in that pet to put to that page. The heart and its in int intricacies are not aren't my forte, I admit. But if you have even half of this affection for her as she has for you, then what you two share is something wondrous. I only hope you can be both weather whatever troubles come your way. The heart isn't my forte, indeed. For one who claims such a thing, if you show remarkable pers 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 what is the word? What word is that? Perspicity in the matter. 
You are quite changed from the Moogle I once knew. Call me impressed. You are good to consider yourselves over yourselves over my, my and Lloyd's affairs. Your kindness does you does you a great deal of, cre of credit. Oh, he noticed. I shall pin my response this instant. Can't trust you delivered straight to her once I finished. We serve at your pleasure. Your trust is not misplaced in us, good sir. Did you hear that? He's going to reply. We should return to Mikado's amphitheater at once. I don't want to be here when he sent our post little friends all the way back there. Yes, it would be rather awkward for his letter to have no recipient. Let's explain the situation to Lizette and wait for P Puck D and Cupco's delivery. Oh, fine. Back. I guess it's better I can go over here. Just teleport over there. I guess it would have been faster if I just went over here. Okay, McCandle's Amphitheater. I should probably take this on. Boop! Uh, let us hope this all ends with joy. Oh, wait. Wrong person. Our eminent emissary of adoration and affection is with us once more, and now that we have assembled, we have only waited for the custodians of Ezemile's reply. I feel sick to my stomach. What if, I, what if I angered him? What if he calls out the whole engagement? I don't think, about, I don't think that'll happen. We've returned! And your beloved's painstakingly pen post and paw. Pukti Pico, I was drawn to your advice in particular. I wrote down all my worries, concerns, and questions in a clear and concise fashion, and he responded with, well, with some confusion, it seems. Although now, at least, he's aware of what troubles me, and for what he says, he's grateful. He's very sweet here. He's very sweet here, you see. He tells me that, that together he will go down this list of mine and solve one problem at a time. Where we live and how we will be will be up to us to decide, not his family. I have come to ensure my letters reach you and see if you have, if you've re yet read it. I draw you did say you did the same for me. It would be unkind not to return the favor, no. That little guy. Oh God, how embarrassing! You caught me spying you, didn't you? You're embarrassed for what, pray? I found it endearing, my darling. Ah, uh, these companions of yours. Did they assist you in writing in your writing to me? Then we are in your debt. Aloys, my love, what say you to a tea at the Carline Canopy? There we can discuss our future. A conversation which is long overdue, I should think. Thank you, my friends. Where would I be without your help? And I promise that yours will be the first invitations we post once we sell on a day. Alright. Next step forward. Goodness gracious me, did my eyes deceive me? Pukti Paiko, your palm. Huh? Why, it's adopted the very, sh the very shape of the season. And it's, lo and it's lovely beyond compare. And tis much more, much of a mu tis much of a muchness with mine, and or so I flatter myself to think. I can't really explain it, but seeing those two together brought a flutter to my chest, spring to my wings, and the next thing I knew, my palm began to tingle in the most peculiar ways. It's just such a marvelous scene to know that we had its hand in ushering as a mile and Aloy's story, story, story to its next chapter, and to think it was all performed strictly through the art of the post. Affectionate missives are more than just the silly 
Folderol. Fold Folderol. I assume them to be. I see now that they show what's in your heart, our hearts, like nothing else can. And we emissary their, tr their trusted custodians. That we are, Puckty. Only do only do remember that letters require more than just love. They also need. An, an, they also they they are also in need of names and addresses. Speaking of names, perhaps you might bestow one, one upon a certain chocobo. I think of it as a show of not only kindness but of love too. A show of love, you say? I suppose you're right. I wasn't able, able to recall names given by my Moogle acquaintances, but I bet I could go arrive at something that sh actually sticks. I'll give it some thought. Make sure I've done the best bird justice. Huh. My one's foolish fledging his wings of her own at last! Well, how proud I am to see your soar. You are a credit to the emissaries of ardor and affection with your heart-shaped palm. It is, my, well, it is my most sincere honor to have you among our ranks and pray that you will continue your mo this most revered work. I would love nothing more. What joy to be blessed with so many carriers and in this season of sublimity, no less. Disheartening indeed to watch our numbers grow and grow, for with so many we can ensure that ardor and affection can accompany all the fair creatures in this realm where uh, their journeys take them. Alright. Power of love conquers all! I got barding. Yeah, there's a name. Fuck. What the fuck kind of name is that? And you can do it again if you want to, but I really don't do the repeatables. Now, if you come to her, you can buy some wall-mounted stuff and uh, more of these. But I <laughs> got a nice post moogle barding. What? All right. So that is going to be it for uh, this part. That's the Valentine's Day event for 2022. Uh, well, there really was much to it. It's, an, it's a nice event, though. Though nothing, nothing in my opinion beats the Halloween event. But yeah, um, well, that's gonna be it for here. Uh, I'm pretty sure the next video will be patch 6.1 content, whenever that's going to be. So, uh, whatever's coming next, I will see you in the next part. Later.